Hi Aquarius, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with a reading. And Aquarius, this is going to be what are their true intentions in love? Yes, it is. And this is a general reading, Aquarius, so it may not resonate. And these energies could be vice versa, back and forth, uh, between you and your person. Okay, so please just be aware of that. And let's get right into the reading. Let's pull some cards from the Angel Answers cards. Let's see what they have to say. I think I might just set them aside and kind of turn them over or kind of, you know, go over them after uh, I lay down the tarot and we kind of get into the reading. I feel like they're more relevant that way. Yes, I do. Let's see what we have. I'm going to put it over here. <laughs> and let's see. Wow. This is for you, Aquarius. And I'm going to leave it like that. Let's see what we have for Aquarius. The past dynamic Aquarius looks like it is the Devil, the Empress, the Four of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles. To me, this looks like like really harsh energy with the Devil and the Eight of Swords. Mm -hmm. I feel like you could be really feeling stuck here that somebody else is like in another union. Yeah, that could be the case. And somebody could be holding on to somebody here, but there is an ending just like right around the corner. Like it's imminent, right? This is the Four of Pentacles and the After Tarot. You could feel really stuck about it. And somebody could be cutting ties here, right? The Eight of Swords in this deck is could be cutting ties. Let's see for you, Aquarius. Right now, your energy is the Seven of Pentacles. Queen of Wands in the reverse. Page of Wands. Your person's energy is the Ten of Cups, Four of Wands, wow, Magician, it's a World Card. So your person looks pretty happy over here uh, so far, right? And you look like you're dealing with challenges. That's how it is, right, with the Seven of Wands. And right now, Aquarius, you look like you're walking away or seriously considering it. Why is that Seven of Pentacles there for Aquarius? Here a fit. Seven of Cups. I feel like you're walking away from either a marriage or a union. Maybe a Taurus. You could be dealing with a Taurus as a possibility. The Hierophant is here. Uh, you could be walking away because somebody has options. Mm-hmm. Why is the Seven of Pentacles there? Why is that there? Of cups, sorry you guys. Ten of swords. Yeah, I feel like you're walking away because somebody has options here. Mm -hmm. And most likely it is a queen of wands because here she is in her sweet little yellow outfit. Why is that queen of wands in the reverse? No digs on fire signs. I am one. <laughs> in case anybody gets sensitive. The death card is there and also the three of cups. Wow. So this is an ending because of a third party. Ouch. And the Page of Wands is, this is like crystal clear, the Page of Wands is, and this could be a transformation too, right? Yeah, transformation like to turn things around with a third party. Page of Wands is why it's all happening for you. Nine of Pentacles. Wow, the Tower. You're walking away from a situation. You're cutting ties with somebody. You could be, some of you guys, this could be a divorce, but I feel like you're walking away and becoming single. Three of Wands, I feel like you're giving this person their freedom. You're like, you're free to go because this is too much, uh, too much grief for me. The Ten of Swords, it could be you who's having a hard time. It's a possibility, uh, you who... It looks like it's you who's having a hard time, but I have not really put down enough cards down here for your person. I feel like you're letting them go because they're in a third party, but it could be vice versa. Because it is a general, why is the seven, a lot of sevens here, which is really about like thinking about things and evaluating, kind of like reassessing a situation. The seven of pentacles, the seven of wands, the seven of cups. The Seven of Swords is not here yet. <laughs> Why is that Seven of Wands there? This is what you want. Wow. You, 
could be like feeling like you have to fight here or you could be wanting to like defend yourself from somebody like somebody else having like victory. This is you most likely, Aquarius, King of Swords. Could be dealing with a Libra maybe. Why is that King of Swords there? King of Pentacles. So you're dealing with a fire sign and an earth sign, most likely. Mm -hmm. You could be wanting a divorce. It's a possibility. Mm -hmm. You could still be... I feel like you want to, like, uh, like, kind of, like, destroy. Not destroy, but I feel like you kind of want to stop another union. I feel like that's what you want. And you could be simply trying to just defend yourself in the situation. Let's look at their energy. Why are they in the Ten of Cups energy? Ace of Swords. And the Hermit card. So you're dealing with a Virgo, or they are, either one. Uh, right here, it looks like they're having victory with a Virgo. That's exactly how it looks. Mm -hmm. Why is the Hermit there? Nine of Swords. They could be uh, worried about the situation, though. They could. Maybe this is you with a Virgo. Why is that four of... Why is the four of wands there, please? Six of pentacles. And the five of swords. This is your person. I feel like, I feel like your person is the person who, like... You could be wanting to end a relationship, too. You could be wanting one, too. Mm -hmm. Why do they have the Nine of Swords? This is your person. Why do they have the Nine of Swords? This is all about, they look like they are, like, this card is kind of a trip because this can be like, you know, this is typically fighting their fears. This man is trying to slay the dragon, right? And this is all about your worst fears, a nine of swords. But in the after tarot, he is like, like he's taking on the dragon. Like, I'm going to fight my fears here. Four of cups. I feel like what this is here is that your person could be, they could be letting you go, like pouring your cup out, and they're trying to fight their fears on it. This could be about you with a Virgo, though, too. And the magician is in their root, why it's all happening. Ten of Wands, Sun card. Could be a Leo here maybe because we see the Queen of Wands, right? And this, the Sun card is here. They look like they're dropping a burden here. Maybe about an Aries. I feel like they have some clarity. This could be, let's see, let's get a card on the sun card. Why do they have that there? Queen of Cups. Wow, see, there's a lot of people already in this reading, right? Because the Queen of Wands, the King of Pentacles, and now the Queen of Cups is here. And then there is you, Aquarius. I feel like this is you who has somebody else. I feel like you're walking away. So you're walking away to reunite with somebody. Yeah, you're walking away to reunite with somebody. But it could be you're walking away because they are reuniting with somebody. It's not really clear on that end. No, it's not. And what they want is the world. Why do they want the world? The moon card and the nine of wands. So they want an ending and a new beginning. I feel like they're guarded. They're not trusting the situation. Because I feel like there's deception here. 
yeah, there's deception. The moon card, the world could be a water sign too, but I feel like there's deception. Why do they desire the nine of wands? Why do they desire the nine of wands? Eight of wands. So they want change. They want an ending and a new beginning. I feel like your person is trying to like... I feel like they're trying to fight their fears here about possibly about you like wanting to be with somebody else. Mm -hmm. And I feel like for some of you guys this is a, a, an ongoing third party. And we're going to find out on Vimeo. Yes, we are because that's where the tell-all lives. And we're going to talk all about all about your person and how they feel. So we're really going to get the lowdown there about what they're really up to. And we're going to see uh, what they're hiding from you, Aquarius, what they really want. But we're going to talk about the blocks and the challenges that is typically for you and try to give you a leg up there. And we're going to see what is crowning their thoughts. That is really important, yes. And what they're hiding, fearing, and their true intentions. All the extended readings are super affordable. Let's look at the oracle cards before we head over there. This says forgiveness and in one year from now. So this could be, uh, you could be maybe reconciling with this person in one year from now. I feel like there's a situation here where like, I feel like there's love here, but there is like kind of a back and forth situation where somebody kind of doesn't know what they want. And somebody's been holding on for with somebody else, somebody else for holding on to somebody else for a long time. I feel like that's the case. Let's go over to Vimeo. As I mentioned, all the uh, extenders are super affordable. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, you guys. And hit the little bell if you would like to receive notifications on my uploads.